But listen, let's not even go so far. You're here right now. Right now as you're standing there, no? Just for a few moments, leave these thoughts alone. Just for a few moments, leave them alone. You can pick them back up after. Leave everything for a moment. Every definition that you have held uh, as a definition of who you are, just leave everything aside for a moment. Leave everything, everything. Don't hold on to any intention, anything from past or anything that you may call hope for the future, even for enlightenment. Leave everything for a moment. Hmm? Don't even hold on to the feeling of I. If it's there, it is there, but don't hold on. I'm speaking into the space of your being. It knows these words. Don't hold on to anything at all for a moment. Okay? So you're entirely empty. You're not a combination of elements. You're nothing. And don't be expecting or waiting for anything. So your attention can be totally at rest. Yeah. So don't create, don't imagine anything. Just follow, leave everything. And as many as they can hear what I'm speaking, let it apply to you. Leave everything for a moment. This is your turn, this is your chance. Leave everything. So that whatever is left here cannot be taken, cannot be moved. It is only what is here by itself. Be one with that. It is not a trick. It is not a technique. Is there any effort here? You don't have to control the senses. You don't have to do any exercise. Simply you are not connecting with any image, any sensation, any mode of time, any classification, any autobiography, any, any memories, nothing. Be empty of everything. Neither male nor female. So when you're not combined with any projection, any conditioning, hmm, underlying all states is this. It cannot even be called a state. Stateless state, one's fundamental being. There's no sense of apartness. Now tell me, can it fade? Can it fade? Can it change? No. Can it go away? Where would it go? Where it's not? Who is keeping it there? Who are you here? Don't touch any thought, no adjectives, no description.
who comes here and who leaves here are merely thoughts and sensations arising in this space, unbound. Are you a success or a failure here? Are you mother, priest, master, disciple here? Is it night or day here? So first, only acknowledge, is this permanent or is this also another state that comes and goes? Now for the first time, you can answer for yourself from your own seeing. You don't need to rely on any book that you've read. Now from your own immediate and direct uh, seeing, nothing mystical, I am not throwing magic powder over you. You are looking with your own, your own being. Is there any fear here? So this is what underlies all the changing states of the mind, thoughts about future, time, all of this. Watched from here, what is their power? What is their significance? Where is their strength? Where is their reality? What can compare with this? Even your listening is simply occurring in this. You are doing nothing to listen. You are doing nothing to understand. Understanding takes place. I am only pointing. Don't pick up anything, don't carry anything for a moment, so that you can see for the first time clearly what is and who you are. Everything else that appears in the consciousness is in flux, meaning it comes and goes. It passes. Everything passes. Which is fine. Something don't pass so quickly, that's fine. Because of their own law, and the law that the Supreme Being sets a time and a duration for them, they you will them you will perceive, they will arise and they will disappear in front of you. Even this body that you're wearing, it is undergoing change. But look again to your own self, this place, and see. If you have any age here, any ruling planets here, any gods and goddesses here, you should be able to discern Am I imagining this? I said, No, don't create, don't invent, that's going too far. There is no need. The mind might say, but what good is that? What good is that? It doesn't help me to take care of my family. He comes back. You see? Don't listen to that. Don't believe that. Acknowledge this and move with a sensitivity and observe what unfolds when your attention is resting in and as the Self. Move, do what you have to do. Don't suppress, don't force. Listen inwardly. Outwardly, actions will happen. There will be actions, reactions, interactions taking place and you'll notice that they are moving spontaneously. You will not have the hurry or the, the, the 
pressure to always be anticipating, reacting. Even if some reaction should come, it is also perceived from this deepest place. Actions, reactions, interactions, suggestion, desire, attachments, projection, identity, fear, all these things you notice. But so powerful, so grounded are you in that root being, that these things will not touch you. Honour yourself. This is true self-respect. Don't be so easily pulled out by the, the curling fingers of the mind. Come, 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 come. You will feel that, but its, it's power is reducing right in front of you. In your very presence, it's losing power. This is very important. Of course, if you are open to the mind, it has many things to suggest to you. You are being very irresponsible. You are simply making up excuses to avoid what you should do. It is an old voice. But trust. Simply be here. Don't force. You don't have to always say, the mind is wrong, the mind is wrong. No, be open. Listen to what he has to say. And learn to discern this voice. Is it true? How do you know it's true? Does it stir up inside you anxiety and restlessness and fear? Then it is not true. How do you know when you're in a certain place or certain environment, even with people, and you know, how do you know when you're meant to be here or when you should go? How do you know? If you're in a place and you feel uncomfortable, but when you look at the things around you, they seem to be sitting in their right place, then relax. Let adjustment happen in you. But if you are in a space and nothing seems right, nothing seems to be in its right place, you cannot properly relate to anything and you feel even as though you are in an out-of-body state, it is better you leave and go then. You will learn to see and to feel and to intuit what is, what is right for you. Yes, But don't give so much importance to that. This right for you or wrong for you is still superficial. If you stay here, you have transcended what is right for you or wrong for you. Because you are no person here. Things are only right or wrong pertaining to the person. For the Supreme Consciousness, it is different. It is different. You don't work for what's good for me, what's good for what's not good for me. You start to see what is harmonious for the world, for the beings. All selfishness will leave you. You cannot describe this state. Though your activities may seem to be very dynamic, internally, you are in pure serenity and peace. No one can know you simply by looking at your actions only. They are a clue, but they are not a definition. Those who are sensitive to the inner world, they will recognise you. If you look at the world only with your fleshly eyes, you will be mostly wrong in your assessment. But this way that I am pointing now, in this space, which has not moved since I started to talk about it, it is still here, no? Hmm? It is just a temptation to keep going back. The reflex is to go back to the old way of the old regime of thinking, because just habit. Now you must start a new habit to pay attention to yourself. This is yourself. Be here. Before, we have 
a sense of a tangible self based upon the idea I am this body and I am my conditioning. That was your reference. But now a deeper space is here. This can also be here. The superficial can also be here. Maybe you don't even have to call it superficial. Just come back here. And the more you come in, the more time merges into presence as you put your attention here. These are, these are results and observations that are immediate, by the way. Immediately you don't see. I am not telling you, plant today, reap next week. Do and see. Your mind, earth mind, it wants to remind you of your history, of the context of your existence. Stay in that. Stay in that. Why want to go further? Stay in that. You know this very well. Stay in this. So you don't have to try and get away from that. Simply keep recognizing your inmost truth. Outwardly, apparently, you are still this. This is fine. But this is not all that you are. It is okay to play a role in life. All are playing a role in life, consciously or unconsciously. That's not too important. In fact, your realization of the self will make the role you play even more graceful, more intuitive, more spontaneous, more fresh, more wise, more open, less fearful. Look and see. Our true life should not be lived in fear and anxiety. Nor should it always be nice. We all need a little trouble. The consciousness has to exercise its discerning power to look and to contemplate, and to reason, to reflect, to compare, to discriminate, to choose. All these are the, the exercises of consciousness. But there is a joy about that also. Don't try to memorize only what I say to you. Just be open and absorb. Don't put anything in the fridge. And don't overthink. Don't be a thinker of life. Be. Don't try to live life. You are life. And at the same time, the unfolding of life is occurring to you, that deeper consciousness. But there is no panic. You are not that which harmonizes the world. There is a harmony, even when there appears to be disharmony. It sits inside a greater harmony. If I say trust that, it is good for now. But that trust will bear fruit. It will become your own way, naturally. It will not be a strain. <laughs> 